Hi, my name is Andy Reiner. Welcome to the Fiddle Barn. This is where I live. This is the stairwell, and uh, this is a tutorial on bow rocking, which comes from your shoulder mainly, and not your wrist. Your wrist needs to stay loose, and your shoulder will do most of the work this way. Very slowly, these motions are Now notice that my wrist is loose, but it is not floppy. Floppy wrists um, make it hard to control. This is not actually a motion that you can control from your wrist, and it's mostly a uh, upper shoulder kind of issue. You can practice this with your open strings. Hit both strings, which, whichever strings you choose to hit, um, on the down bow and then one on the up bow. So when you mix that with the tune, that's how that's where all those double stops come from. Without the double stops and just rocking back and forth, it looks and sounds like this. Same thing, a little bit slower with double stops. Now the B part features a lot of up bow, bow rocking motion. I feel like this is an entirely different motion than the uh, down bow. You kind of give the up bow a little push so it's... So you're accenting the offbeat. You might almost say that the entire tune gets its groove from the bow rocking motion. So um, here it is a little bit faster with more double stops. called, but I learned it from Nate Leith. I will play it fast once and then I will slow it down.
out important points about bow rocking. There is a down bow. And there is an up bow. Slightly exaggerated for the point of this exercise. Um, so, in conclusion, do whatever you want. I mean, without having a floppy wrist, you need to have a loose wrist. Thank you very much. My name is Andy Reiner. Thanks for checking out Bo Rocking.